Welcome back to another episode uh, with uh, Trainer Tucker here. We are at Park Center Pond today. It's a wonderful, wonderful um, fishing pond here in Boise, Idaho. And uh, if you've never fished and you want to give it a try and you happen to be in Boise, Idaho, um, in June, on June 10th, there's going to be a free fishing day. Um, it's all across the state, but this pond is really great. Um, a lot of these ponds, um, they'll have fishing gear for you to use if you don't have your own. They even bait the hook, give you some lessons, teach you a lot about fishing and that in this wonderful state of ours. But let's go ahead and get back to Pokemon. Um, I've never done a video at this park. Um, I, we do do a lot of lure parties at this park in the past. As you can see, it's a pretty good loop all the way around um, mm. for uh, Pokemon. Let's uh, spin some stops here real quick and get our, our walk started here and see what we can find. Oh, I hit on somebody. And of course the, the grass event still going on here. So let's go ahead. So yeah, on June 10th you can come, catch some Pokemon, maybe catch some fish if you're into fish. If not, there'll be tons of people here so the cell phone, the cellular... Um, Pheromones should be really high that day. Um, when a lot of people are around, tend to spawn a lot more. And who knows, it would be a great day to maybe have a lure party um, for those that put together the lure parties and stuff. If you're in the Boise area, it might be a good time. Oh, Bulbasaur, please. He's being, let's give him a raspberry being difficult. Oh, let's see if we get him that time. There we go. He got in his ball, stayed in his ball. And let's see here. Oh, not too shabby. Let's go ahead and spin some more Pokestops. And we can start walking. I may have a 10k egg that hatches in this video. Again, we're at a uh, Park Center Pond here. It is the migration of uh, May 5th to May 19th. We're just going to walk around the pond here. It gives a nice little track here. It was one of my favorite places to go when I first uh -huh. started doing Pokemon. And let's see here. Oh, a little bell sprout there. There we go. So, please, um, one thing I, I like are the comments that I get and stuff. Um, they don't all get posted to all the videos. Um, some of them are kind of redundant, but I'm going to try to do a Q&A um, this month. So feel free to ask questions about me, about the Boise area, um, what I know about Pokemon Go. Uh, uh, if you watch some of my other videos, you'll kind of know how I got started into this. I wasn't a, a traditional Pokemon enthusiast. I um, also was not a walking enthusiast either. So, anyway, go ahead. Let's pull up the nearby list here and just see what we got going on. And then again, um, like in some of my previous videos, there is a, a grass event going on. So you, it's kind of tough to tell what's really, really a nest or not. Some of them were quite obviously. Uh, we discovered a ghastly nest and a scyther nest. Let's see what we got going on here. Ooh. I should have a small evolution video by the end of the week. I'm getting enough candies here. Especially on some of these grass types that I don't have. Oh, that. The sun carms, I probably should collect every one I can because I have a huge amount of the, the sunburst evolution items. It's like the one I get the most of. 
All right, and there is one Pokestop in the pond. As long as we get close enough and not walk into the pond, we should be fine. There's actually a dock there too. That's a dock that's at the end of that. So, it's not too bad that I can see if you weren't paying attention, you'd walk straight into the pond. And right now, with our river being so high, and a lot of overfill going into these ponds, the ponds are way deeper than normal. So, it is a good thing to be super cautious, as you always should be when you're playing Pokemon Go. And, uh, if you didn't know it, Executor is like my favorite Pokemon. So, I can never have too many of those. Oh, da, da, da. Tons of Pokestops on this path. Again, it, you know what? I might call this a sunk Romanesque because look how many we're seeing. Look at them right there. So, the new migration just might be. I mean, we'll have more confirmation after the grass event's over. Um, but again, like I said in the beginning, I've never really walked this park or done a, a video of this park. I've walked this park before, but never done a video once I start studying the migration. Another question I do get a lot that I'll answer in this video is just, uh, you know, what's the, the big deal here? You know, not everybody's in Boise, Idaho. Uh, I'm just trying to document the I migrations. It might not be the same in your area, but just to see if maybe there's some sort of pattern where we can maybe predict, at least in our area, where uh, we'll be in the next migration, where we'll be the next, you know, nest of something that we really need. Um, so, uh, another question I have, is anybody out there got unknown yet? That's one I'm still searching for. I think it will be really cool to find and shoot a video of catching the unknown. I have some other catching videos on there. But uh, I think the unknown would be really cool. So far, I'm doing pretty good. Yeah, I'm still seeing a lot of some crumbs. Keep walking here. Uh, I think the it's got to be at least maybe maybe a half mile in diameter. So it's a pretty good little jaunt, and plenty of Pokestops um, spaced out pretty well. I think that's why they originally started doing lure parties here. I know they've been doing uh, a few more in Municipal Park. You can look up some of the Municipal videos and see. There's there's about 18 Pokestops there, but they're kind of tucked in together. But it is a good place to do like a potluck and a barbecue. And uh, I really encourage that, uh, especially the smaller parks. I like to see more people like meet up at a smaller park. So maybe we can draw in some more of that spawning into that area. Because I noticed in my own house, since there's like four or five of us to play in my house, that um, as we go along, uh, the spawns increased in our house or in our yard seem to increase greater and greater. So... Keep going here. I don't know why I threw a regular Pokeball at that. <laughs> that was just not... I'm not thinking... There's only a pineapple berry. And... Boom! So, watch for limbs. <laughs> Again, paying attention. So... Of course, it didn't help that I went off the path just a little bit. I'll tell you what, 
Bulbasaur has been like my nemesis. I, I feel like he's a little discouraged that I didn't pick him as my starting Pokemon. So it's been a challenge as far as Gen 1 of uh, completing for me. We have a couple Poke styles right here. Grab real quick. Oh, I'm too far away from that one. Okay, well, we're gonna go back. We're already en route. And that's uh, pretty much it. There's like one, two, uh, three more Pokestop, so we'll actually, once we get to that third Pokestop, we'll be back to pretty much where we started. And uh, anyway, that's it for this video. Uh, please like, subscribe. Uh, let me know what else you would like to see in the comments below. Thanks and have a great day. Thanks for watching.